All right, now this is something cool. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're gonna check out one of the coolest keyboards I think I've ever come across. This is the Ergodox EZ. If you remember last year on the channel when I showed off the Infinity Ergodox, that was a DIY kit, so I had to build it myself. This one comes complete and in my opinion is 10 times cooler. Let's check it out. So what is this Ergodox EZ? Well, it's a one of a kind open source ergonomic keyboard that can be your go-to for pretty much everything from here on out. With 32 programmable layers, the possibilities are endless. Set a few for all your favorite games, set a layer for each of your most used programs and so on. It's extremely easy to program, I'll show you that in a minute. But first taking a look at it, personally, I think its simplicity and modern look is fascinating. The two halves connect via a 3.5 millimeter jack, and they are both are what are going to connect each other as a unit. Empowering the whole board is a mini USB cable. On each half, we have three spring-loaded feet, so you can kind of elevate the back side of the keyboard if you please. And these are pretty cool, because you can actually feel these little tactile clicks with each adjustment level you put them at. And since they're spring-loaded, they're not flimsy or anything, they're not just gonna collapse or fall on you. Then on the bottom of the board, you have your LED light strip on top. There are 15 individual LEDs on each half, so you have 30 total here. This is gonna add some really cool glow or backlighting behind your keyboard at night. The Ergodox EZ comes in a few options to pick from. You have a white and black color variant and your choice of either no LEDs or the included light strip for this shine version. And obviously I went with the white shine option because it just looks killer. Plus you can pick from blank keycaps or printed. And if you want my two cents, definitely go printed because since the keyboard is extremely customizable, you're gonna to wanna to see the characters. And in addition, they include a set of color coded gel wrist rests. And lastly, before we move on, we've got the switches. There are a bunch to pick from, from Gateron Brown, Blue, White, Red, Yellow, Black, and Green. And right on the website there, they have a little detailed description on each one so you can see which is gonna be best for you and your needs. But not only that, if you just don't know which switch you prefer, they will personally one-on-one -on -one help you out if you choose to contact them. And you gotta love that one-on-one -on -one support. In my unit, I went with the Gateron Whites, mainly because I'm a fan of those nice light and linear switches. So as per usual, as we do with all of my keyboard videos, we'll do a sound test so you can hear how these Gateron White switches sound. So moving on, as I mentioned before, the Ergodox Easy is completely reprogrammable and you have up to those 32 layers at all times, which still sounds crazy when I say that. But that just goes to show you how great this thing is. It does come with three pre-stock layers. Layer zero is your standard alphanumerics, layer one is symbols and characters, and layer two is media control, and even for controlling your mouse. But once you check out their graphical configurator even further, it's really all in your hands now, literally. And I gotta say this graphical configurator is probably the best thing I've ever seen when it comes to something like this for a keyboard. I've tried others from different keyboard companies that were just a nightmare to figure out. This is all right in front of you. You pick a key, you pick what key you want it to be, and it's really just that easy. But So once you're done making your layers, all you have to do is compile the layout and download their Teensy flashing tool and just drag your new layout into the program. Then you have to use something like a tiny paper clip or something to reset the keyboard itself. There's a little button on the top of the right-handed board, and then your new layout file is automatically flashed for you, and that's literally it. It's crazy how simple that is. It just lets you mess around and get really a hang for it in no time. There's no coding needed. And since it is a web-based configurator, you can just begin making your own layouts as you please. No other additional software needed. There are just so many options for each key. You could have certain keys become like dual function keys, have a layer strictly for controlling the LED lights even. It's just really, really great. And the lights is something that I didn't really touch on too much, but real quick, yes, these LED lights do have a good amount of customization as well. You can do things like cycle through the animations at just a click. You could pick a certain color you want, have it fade in and out, change the brightness. It is all possible due to that configurator. And like I said earlier, that LED glow looks really sick at night. So what else is there to know? Well, really that's it, I guess, other than telling you guys about my experience. And I will admit at first, it was definitely tough to adjust to this if you haven't used anything like this keyboard. But after a few days, I started to get the hang of it. 
I alluded to it earlier, having those printed keycaps definitely helped me out since the layers can be easily changed, so it was good to have those like a home row reset indicator. But I mean, when it comes to something like this, if you're going to be spending your money on it, you're not going to be disappointed. I'm not someone who types hours at a time or anything like that. However, what I did was set a different layer for editing this video, and it's actually what I did. So I made my own like Adobe Premiere editing layout. But by time with it, I could say it's been extremely positive. The quality control is here, it's very nicely made and stands out from the rest, and there's actually no real complaints on my end. You're just going to have to get over the fact that there's going to be a little bit of extra cables on your desk now than there probably was before. But if I'm giving you my honest feedback in this review, I will say the only downside is going to be the price. This Shine kit is $295, so definitely on the pricier end. But again, the Ergodox EZ is not for everybody, and it's honestly not made for everybody. Oh, here come the 12 year olds with their downvotes. This keyboard is for enthusiasts, or someone who's looking for an extremely ergonomic keyboard who's typing eight hours out of the day, or it's for a coder, or someone who could take advantage of its open source, completely customizable layers. This thing is awesome, it screams quality, and then that's where that price point can be justified. The Ergodox Easy is not for everybody, but those who buy it, I think, will not regret it. My time with this has been extremely positive, and I'm looking to really find a way that I can integrate this more in my daily usage, just because I like it so much, and I want to be able to take advantage of something like this. So I'm a huge fan of it, and I wanted to get this video out for you guys, because it's just something so unique and different. I think some of you out there would definitely appreciate it, minus those 12 year olds. All right guys, well, that'll do it for my review of the Ergodox EZ keyboard. Hope you enjoyed. I'll put the link down below so you can check it out. If you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And don't forget, you can download the app Nice and watch all my videos early for free and be entered to win weekly giveaways, stuff like that. It's really cool, definitely check that out. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.